What's up, guys? Just figured you a little voice over here. These are some uh, rolling shots of my old uh, uh, 7x16 trailer I just sold. And have a video on it before it left. But leading up on today's adventure, as the video goes on, you see the new one that we get. Sorry for the interruption on the uh, GPS there jumping in. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to edit that out there, but a few other spots in here it does too. And the destination is on your right. The destination is on your right, 6570 North Tamarind Avenue. Arrived. There she is, guys, on her way home. It's a 6x12 V nose. The V nose that comes out to be roughly 16 foot. We'll get a little more details here shortly. What's up, guys? Here we always made it back to my house with the uh, the new unit there. Um, in my other videos, you saw I had a. Uh, six by 16 foot I'm sorry seven by 16 foot um, square nose um, dual axle trailer I was pulling my bikes around uh, I said in the previous video I sold it to another racer and seeing this pop up on marketplace um, one thing that I've been trying to do as well as everybody else is find ways better ways of uh, travel lighter you know fuel wise and th things of like that uh, so part of this was I wanted a little bit smaller trailer. This is considered a 6x12 with the V-nose on it. Uh, looks like it was somebody's project. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not a 100% gem, that's for sure. It needs some work and things. Um, but it is super light and it pulls super good. That tongue's all painted up, but it is 100% aluminum frame. Underneath all the whole deal. 100% aluminum frame. The inside is 100% um, aluminum. Let's open this up. Uh, very easy door. Very, very easy door. Here we are. Now I'll probably come in here and do some, clean up some of the gray great paint, repaint some of it, and uh, uh, the, the previous owner put that plywood along. I will most likely try and do a, um, like insulation, insulate this whole deal um, down here top on the roof, insulate it, put some, maybe some lawn back in there. We do have a light, I think I don't have the truck on, but that light lights up, LED light on the inside here. That lights everything up. Now you gave me a couple of e-track things. Gave me the chalk for the bike. I'll have my own in here, but uh, you know, not, not bad. Uh, picked it up for a pretty good price, but super, super duper light. Registration shows it's like 1,400 pounds going down the road. So that was uh, kind of the deal, kind of the upgrade thing of what was going on. I had some videos of it. Um, Going up there, I took, took some video as I was driving, and um, I tried stopping at a truck stop on the way back, get a little bit better video on the, on things, but they actually chased me out of there. 
Like um, I stopped, I got fuel, I pulled off to the side and um, got out and I started walking around it and doing its uh, doing its thing. And somebody from the truck stop came out and said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I just bought this trailer, so I'm gonna do a little video on it. And uh, they were not happy with that. So they, they asked me to stop and asked me, you know, to stop video on their property, which respect that, no big deal. But the previous owner that I picked it up from, four brand new tires on it, four brand new wheels, two, two uh, newer axles in there, all new brakes on it. It's got the driver's side door coming out the driver's side here. So it's, um, it's a little different. Usually they come out the passenger side and then you're always, if you're pitting with your buddy, you're always pitting against the backside of somebody's trailer. So now if you line up with somebody, you can go right against, you know, your side door comes out to their side door. So this was today's adventure. It was about an hour and a half drive to go get it. And, uh, well, that's, that's what it is. I mean, it's, uh, I'm going to go over, go over the axles, go over the bearings, just make sure everything's good and tight, make sure everything's lubed up real good. And, uh, that's all I can say about that. So that's today's adventure. Plenty of tie downs. Um, the trailer's light though, it's 1400 pounds. So the, the whole point of this was um, to get lighter for when I'm traveling to go to the track. Um, so I don't need a diesel puller, you know, I just, I have a little Tahoe, um, 5.3 automatic. So it pulled my other trailer. That was a 99 Odell trailer. That was a super, super good trailer, super well built, heavy duty, but the word heavy there, the heavy is what got it. So <clears throat> we, uh, we sold that, like I said yesterday in the, yesterday's video, another racer uh, wanted it. And so he got it, we came to an agreement on price. He came, paid for it, picked it up yesterday. So then I was on a hunt and I was scrambling. I've been looking for a few weeks for a new trailer. Nothing really came up. Um, so, you know, I, I was kind of getting a little paranoid when I decided to sell mine and then I didn't get nothing else to go with it. So um, this came up le late last night and me and the gentleman got together it was about an hour and a half from my house. Um, I'll have a couple ride along videos there of different areas where we were at going through. <clears throat> um, I didn't film on when I first picked it up um, on his property. I didn't know how he'd feel about that. I didn't kind of new to this whole YouTube thing and filming all these different places and stuff. So I didn't want to, you know, push that out on him to do, to do that. I um, didn't know if he wanted to be on camera or whatever the case may be, but um, yeah, this is uh, the inside of it, the V. It's got a, the V nose and it also has like a tapered nose. So it'll, I believe it'll really do well cutting through the winds. Um, one thing that I see being a problem and no, thinking that this was a snowmobile trailer is it came from up north. It was a New York title trailer from a gentleman that just moved down here. Um, and they sit much higher just for ground clearance. So essentially it has an aluminum frame built that the wheels are bolted to. And then there's another aluminum frame underneath this box that they sit down on top. So that's uh, what gives it its height. It's actually about six inches taller, but uh, let me get outside here and uh, check it out from there. And you can see the ramp angle, what I'm talking about. All right, so now I'm out, outside. I got it backed into my parking area. I have some pictures in another video that I had started, um, kind of retook it. But like I said, it's uh, six by 12, dual axle, brakes on one axle. LED lights. Gentleman did a makeshift paint job on it. Put new axles on there, put new uh, brakes and everything on the axle, wheels, tires, the whole nine yards. But that's how steep it is. I mean, it's really, I mean, the the floor of this trailer sits knee high. Um, crawling underneath it, he put new axles under it, but I believe he didn't put drop axles in it. Um, so just a few things I've measured and, and seen, which is okay, because I mean, the price that I paid for it, I'm, I'm very happy with it. And if I have to put I drop axles in it to make it work. It works, but all aluminum frame. Let me get up this here. All aluminum deal. So uh, registration and title say it weighs 1,400 pounds. So pulling behind that, I didn't have no distribution hitch on. Didn't have the airbags turn um, blowing up on that thing. Got on the highway, hit 70, hit the cruise, and it just rolled on right on down the road. So. That's, uh, it's a good upgrade, I think. Ooh, sun. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That sun is brutal. Another unique feature is the side door opens out the driver's side. So when you go and you pit 
next to, let's say, one of your buddies, you always end up working out the opposite side of the trailer that they are on. So now when you come in and pit, you can pit on, you know, one side of where your buddy's at and you can work out the same side. So where they're working out the passenger side, you can work out your driver's side. So I think one thing I'm gonna do is all this diamond plating that he painted over. Um, I might get that back out to being some nice aluminum. I think I like that better. My wife says she'll leave it black, she likes it black. So throw a comment in there. You like it black or should I make it aluminum? These here, this is all good diamond plating. I was gonna make all, clean that all up, make that back to being regular aluminum. So again, leave a comment what you think there and uh, we'll go with the, the majority of it on there. But getting back over to here, this is all my stuff that I gotta put back in there, mount in there that I go racing with. All my spare primary parts, transmissions. The bike's still sitting here, not going anywhere. Still didn't get on that maintenance. I've been working on the, the, the uh, trailer deal all day. So just quick little intro or quick little deal here on what I did on Sunday afternoon. Hope you guys are all having a great Sunday. And uh, I'll catch in for a longer term or a longer video when we do our maintenance deal. And uh, maybe I'll give me some ideas for hanging some stuff in there. I think I'm going to insulate the walls and set up a, um, uh, what do they call that? A uh, an air conditioner in there, like a um, removable, you know, remote type air conditioner type thing in there. Put that in there just so I have it. The other trailer had one on the roof, worked really well, um, but I found myself really not even using it because when I'm at the races, I'm just like the rest of y'all, just out about, I'm working on my bike, working on somebody else's bike, or we're having a good time on the starting line. So, again, it's a quick little Sunday afternoon deal. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, we'll catch you when we get back to some more live action. <laughs>